Okay, now that we have the data input method done, we can move on to the data template. And we'll want to click Add. Most descriptions will make sure that it, it ends up actually the um, as the device that we're adding um, so that we can distinguish between the, uh, the data sources. And the data input method here we want is the one that we created there. And the first one we can want to name is CPU 05 second. We'll go ahead and save this, and then uh, it'll allow us to map our in total data source name to the actual uh, input method that we defined. And I can save that. Here's the annoying part about cacti is actually getting bounced out. Every time we save, it'd be really nice to be able to create all these... Uh, data source items uh, and then save but that's alright and then that one is already mapped up there so we can click save and add another data source here CPU 0 5 minutes Click save. All right, and like last time, the rest of this is going to be data entry, so I'll, I'll pause here for a second. Okay, now that I have um, all of the data source items in here, you can see. We'll go ahead and validate that uh, they're matched up. I see 01M here with the uh, uh, CPU 01 minute. That, We have the five minute to the five minute, five second to the five second. And that's for CPU zero. Now for CPU one, we see that uh, the one minute, one minute are matched up. The five minute, five minute are matched up. The five second, five second are matched up. And then for the global CPU as well, uh, global one minute, one minute, five minute, five minute, and. Uh, for five second and five second, and uh, you know I didn't notice that uh, I didn't note this in the data input methods, but uh, for both the data input method and the data template, if you have more than two CPUs, you would need to continue this process. So if you have four, it would be CPU zero one two. Or I'm sorry, CPU one zero one two three, instead of just zero and one. Uh, so you would need to add those data sources um, and the data um, output methods in the or the output fields in the data input method as well. Um, so that we have our data template done now, we can click save, and then we can move on to the graph template, which we'll do in the next video.